to discuss how to handle the drop down list if you go to the facebook.com this particular website here you can see the drop down list so what i will do is i will identify this particular month drop down list and i'll try to perform some action on this particular drop down so if you look at this particular html tag details we have a select as a tag under that we have a multiple options so i'll identify this particular drop down box by using the we have multiple attributes like name id title so in my case i'll identify this particular month drop down list by using the id so i'll write on xpath for this just press uh, select this particular tag and press ctrl f here i'm just writing one single xpath to identify this particular month drop down box so dot slash slash star this represent any tag in my case i'm identifying this particular month drop down by using the id so id is equal to we have a value called month so if you look at here id is equal to we have a month value and you can write other attribute and value as well no issues so in my case i'm identifying by using the id as a month value so i'll copy this particular x path let me define that declare in the test method one itself here i'm using the driver object dot find element by x path so just i'll paste that particular value which we have copied from this particular box this is our web element i'll store that into the web element type i'll give the element name as a month drop down list by using this element what i will do is we need to create the object of one class called select element to perform any activity on this particular drop down list so that's the reason what i will do is i'll create the object of one class called select element i'll specify the reference as element here i'll create by using the new operator i'm going to create the object of select element class so we need to pass this particular drop down so which we have identified for this particular month this element i'm passing on to the select element that's all just you need to import the required uh, required classes so just click on that particular class select element just press control dot here you will be getting the just it is asking us to write import this particular open qa dot selenium dot support dot ui so select this particular statement now error has gone that's all now rest is very simple so there are three ways to select this particular drop down by using the index you can select this particular drop down values and second one is by using the text by entering this particular text whatever visible text and the third one is you can specify the values which you are seeing under the this particular uh, select tag so we have a 
option tag under that we have value is equal to 0 1 2 some etc so this particular value you need to pass and you can select the any of the values you which you wanted to select it that's all so let us discuss one by one how you can select a particular uh, values based on the index and visible text and the value just a second it is good get it is got stuck Give me one second, guys. Uh, we'll wait for this uh, session to be active. Just a minute, guys. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yes, guys, it is working fine now. And let us take the uh, reference of the select element class. By using that, I I'm going to select the this particular drop down. Like I can select uh, any of the, these values by using uh, three options. One is by using the index. So always starts with the zero this particular uh, every uh, drop down values so in in this case zero is nothing but month one is nothing but jan two is nothing but feb what i will do is i will select the jan so what i will do is i will use this particular element object dot select by you can see here select by index select by text and select by value first we'll select the particular drop down value by using the index here i'll mention the one as a value because i wanted to select the jan as a month that's all so let us select one more value from the drop down by using the text value so the one 
you have to mention the, the you have to mention the value which you are seeing on the screen so in my case i will mention mar that is a march simply you comment just i'm writing a comment here select by text the third option is by using the value you can select select by value so this value accept the argument as a string type so that's the reason you need to mention the string as a value here so if you are selecting any drop down by using the value so you need to go to the html details so under here you can see the option as a tag under that we have value is equal to zero to select this month as a value month as a value from the drop down so in my case what i will do is i will select the june month so that's the reason i'll use the six as the value so just i'll specify the six value that's all guys here i'm getting the error let me check what exactly it is saying so we are missing some semicolon here that's all the first we are selecting that particular drop down by using the index so this select as the jan as the value the sex second option it will select the march as the month from this particular drop down then at last it will select the june value because we are specifying the this particular value so respective value is june month so let me run this particular test that is called test method one just i will select this particular test and right click on that just say run selected test so what we have done is first we have identified that particular drop down and we passed that element into the select element class and after that we are selecting particular month by using the index and text and finally we are selecting by using the value So first it is going to enter some values into the email field and it is simply it is selecting the drop down values and it is simply closing the web browser.